Hello again and welcome back to some uh, some more math videos. So in this math video we're talking about uh, sinusoidal motion um, and in this case we're talking about the tide. Um, if you've ever lived next to a beach or a pier or uh, somewhere that experiences tides like the ocean, you know that at certain times during the day the water of course is higher than at other times during the day. So that's what's going to happen here is our, we're going to be talking about how deep the water is with respect to deep different times. Okay, so here's an example of a boat that's next to a dock. And of course, as time goes on, the water will go up and go down depending on the time and the tide of the water. Okay, so here's a, func or a bunch of problems um, about tides. Well, actually, just one problem, but we'll see. So here's some information. The high and low tides for a small fishing dock are as listed. Okay, a low of 10 feet at 3 a.m., a high of 18 feet at 12.30 p.m., and a low of 10 feet at 10 p.m. Okay, so there's all your information right there. So there's a ship making a delivery. It needs at least 15 feet of water to get his boat to the dock. Okay, obviously his... His boat is, is normally that far underneath the water, so if it, the water were any shallower, he would not be able to get his boat into the harbor or the dock and make his delivery. So when is the earliest he will be able to deliver his goods? <coughs> so let's make ourselves a graph and come up with an equation so that we can calculate when the earliest time is going to be. So let's um, make this equation. This is, of course, the horizontal axis is time. This is your time axis. So where I'm going to make my y axis 3 a.m. Okay, that's the first time that I'm given. We can make it 12 if you want to, um, 12 p.m., rather 12 a.m., and then we can start from there. But this is a little bit easier mathematically because we don't have to worry about any shifting of phases. So at 8 a.m., the water is 10 feet deep. Let's check and make sure. 10, low of 10 at 3 a.m. So a high of 12.30 or at 12.30. We're going to have a high of 18 feet. So it starts off at 10 feet. We have 8 feet of gain of the tide during the day. And then 10 p.m., the water is back at 10 feet. So the water level throughout the day should rise a little bit. The water level comes up okay, to a maximum of 18 feet. And then the tide goes out and the water level recedes again in the bay to here. And then, of course, it's going to go back up again at a certain time and some other things. So here's our nice graph. This is a beautiful one. There's some things we need to know about it we need to calculate where the middle of the graph is to write an equation. We need to find the midline. So here's an example of the midline. Okay, It's an average of your maxes and your mins. So if we have a maximum of 18 and a minimum of 10, that means we have a total of 8 feet of displacement. So the middle of 8 and 8 is 4. So it looks like we have our midline at 14 feet. So I'm going to write this information up here. We have a midline at 14. That means we have an amplitude of 4, because that's above and below the midline. We have a period of how long? Let's see, from 3 a.m. to 10 p.m. Udalali. So from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. is 12 hours. And then another 7 to 10 p.m. So it looks like we have a 19 hour period. And because this starts at the bottom, I'm going to call this a negative cosine graph. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write our equation. Negative amplitude is 4 cosine. Okay, this is just my preference because we're starting at the bottom of this graph. So it's a negative cosine graph. <coughs> oh, periods. So we need to use our B period to find the B value. 2 pi divided by period. 
Well, that's pretty straightforward. There's no reducing at all. So 2 pi over 19 is our b value, or your omega, your change here. Um, t is your variable, so times t. No phase shift, because we're starting at the bottom. And the midline is plus 14. So this will give us the depth of the water at any time t throughout this day or throughout this cycle of the tides rising and lowering. Negative 4, there's the amplitude. Cosine graph, because it starts at the bottom. A b value of 2 pi over 19, t for time, plus 14, which is your midline. Okay, so there's our equation. Now the question was, when will the water be 15 feet deep? So if we have a midline of 14, that means uh, right here <laughs> might be 15 feet. So we need to calculate how many hours after 3 a.m., how many hours after 3 a.m., the water depth is 15 feet. Okay, so that's what we're asked to do. So I'm going to make a clean sheet. Let's recopy down this problem. Negative 4 cosine of 2 pi over 19 t plus 14. We want to know when will the water be 15 feet deep. So we have your equation. We set it equal to the depth at a certain time. And now we need to calculate. So we'll do all of our nice solving. We'll subtract 14 from both sides. So we can solve this equation for t, time. So negative 4 cosine of 2 pi over 19 t equals 1. We'll divide both sides by negative 4. Sorry, that's just lazy. I should go this whole entire thing. So we have the cosine of 2 pi over 19 t equals negative 0.25. That's 1 quarter. So now we have to figure out a way to get rid of our cosine. Since our t value is here, we need to first get rid of our trig. And how we do that is by taking the inverse. So we take the inverse cosine of both sides. So make sure you write it on the left. The inverse cosine of the cosine cancels each other out. Okay, these are inverses, so they undo each other. And we get 2 pi over 19 t equals the inverse cosine of negative 0.25. So we're going to find out at what angle is the cosine negative 0.25. So let's get our calculator out. Here's our calculator. Turn it on. There we go. Get rid of all the other junk. So we want to do the inverse cosine. So second cosine of negative 0.25. Enter. And we get 1.8235, basically. So 2 pi over 19 equals, where'd it go? 1.823. Okay, notice it's a positive value. All of these angles will be positive. So now we just need to solve for t. So we'll multiply both sides by 19. Actually, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal just to get rid of everything at the same time times 19 divided by 2 pi and that will solve my variable for t so t equals let's go back to our calculator and do this calculation so there's my 1.823 I'm going to multiply that by parentheses 19 divided by, more parentheses, 2 pi. Whenever we have a product in the denominator, with these calculators, you need to make sure that you parenthesize the denominator. Unless, of course, you use the, uh, the fraction button, then it will know what you mean also. So 1.8234 divided by, or times, 
19 divided by 2 pi gives me a time of 5.51. So what does that mean, 5.51? That is answer in hours. So 5.51 hours is how long it would take this graph to be 15 feet. So if I add 5.51 hours to 3 a.m., 3 a.m. plus 5 hours is 8 hours, or approximately 8.30 in the morning. That's half an hour, 8.30. Is the earliest time this captain should, could schedule his delivery. That's when the water depth will be 15 feet. Okay, and of course, he's going to have to get out of there by this time. He will not have any more water depth to do that. Okay, so once again, from your equation, we get a minimum point. You get the period. We can find our midline. All of that allows us to write an equation. From the equation, we want to know when it equals a certain depth. And we do all of this math, all this solving, taking the inverse cosine in order to get rid of it and then solving it all the way through. So hopefully this video has been helpful and we will be able to solve all of your tide problems without any problem.